yeah, I know, often it's just to loving to hate. And yes, I know we should just not talk about them, and then they'd go away. But uh, when you do have, you know, the, uh, uh, the, the son of the current king uh, actually constantly talking about how terrible his family is to him and racism in the royal family, in the royal household, and all these accusations against her, uh, how his, his wife was treated. A new documentary coming out tomorrow. Then, well, it's always interesting when they turn up at a charity event, charity event, uh, to uh, get uh, their latest award for just being fabulous people. They, of course, turned up on the red carpet in New York at the Ripple of Hope Awards. Not Nipple of Hope, everyone. Don't do that. Ripple of Hope Awards to win their, an award for their fantastic, fantastic and tenacious work uh, to tackle racism. I mean, so proud, so proud. Um, uh, and, uh, and tackle inst in institutional racism, sometimes even in the household where they lived. Um, we have a little bit of a clip, which I wanted to play. If you want, just go and put the kettle on or pop to the loo. Completely understandable, but I thought you might like to take a little look and a little listen. Let's have a go. Actually, to be honest with you, Kerry, actually, to be honest with you, Kerry, I, I actually thought we were just going on date night, so I found it quite weird that we're sharing the room with 1,500 people. Um, but um, I mean, we don't we don't get out much because our kids are so small and young, um, so this is completely unexpected. Um, but it's nice to share date night with all of you. Thank you for coming. Um, but, Thank you for um, bringing me on this very special date <laughs> night. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, I, it's rare that I say this. I have no words. I mean, mainly because I'm I'm just trying to keep the sick down. I mean, just you. Oh, it was all it was such a surprise. No, this has been planned for months. They were going to get this award. Oh, and the timing of it. Oh, how convenient. The day before their Netflix documentary, for which they've been paid tens of millions of pounds uh, and dollars, whichever it is. Either way, it's tens of millions uh, to, that's coming out tomorrow uh, as they're busy trashing their own families, basically, to make a fast buck. A family, a couple pretending they don't get out much. They never offer private jet. They never offer holiday. They never offer another trip, apart from when they are at home. Uh, trying to protect their privacy, which is why they left England. Um, they, they've got a Netflix camera crew trailing them the entire time. I mean, give me a break, Harry and Meghan. This is an embarrassment. And indeed, this charity, this Kennedy charity that gave them this award, I mean, frankly, you should hang your heads in shame as well. You're just encouraging them. Absolutely ridiculous stuff. Let's talk to Sarah Robertson. He's a royal commentator. Good morning to you, Sarah. Hi there, Julia. Yeah. I mean, we've all been talking this week basically about how, oh, it's our great shame and horror and we are going to end up watching this darn thing, aren't we? I'm wondering, given that the trailer was like a minute and a half long, it got pulled apart uh, within, I mean, within minutes of it being released in terms of sort of fallacies and, you know, Harry Potter premiere of all the, the camera bank, basically the, the trailer was giving the impression this was a camera bank that Harry and Meghan would face on an ordinary day as they face the traumas of dealing with the media. Um, um, their, their documentary is just going to be absolutely ripped apart, isn't it? But they'll be happy because they're getting the publicity, they're getting the money, and they've now got that award. Yes, well, they have got that award. I'll touch on the award in a minute, Julia, with what happened last night because there was a bit more controversy again Ooh. in New York. But to go to what you were saying about the, the show, the Netflix show, which drops tomorrow, I, my sources, my Netflix sources are saying that there have been issues because since it's turned out that some of these things in the trailer, the pictures used, weren't actually relating to events that actually happened to Meghan and Harry. There has been a bit of controversy behind the scenes there. So all's not as smooth and well as, as what we think. I think there may have been some screams coming from the Montecito household when it when it emerged that some of these clips were from other events, as you yeah. say, the Harry Potter. Um, but but, so but also... Paparazzi the, showing at Michael <laughs> Cohen's trial. And they were trying to yeah. say that was relating to Meghan but this, and Harry's there are so arrival. many issues. They didn't get that amount of paparazzi. Yeah, but I mean, that's the thing. There are so many issues. There are so many events, apparently, where Harry and Meghan have had these awful experiences, and yet they didn't manage to find any of that footage at all. Um, let's talk about what happened last yeah. night. Then uh, we had the royal family here in the UK attending what, like a deathly dull diplomatic event, uh, all very, mm. uh, all very British. And then we had you know screams and camera and paparazzi in New York for this um, uh, this ripple of I mean. God, even the name of the gala, Ripple of Hope Gala. I mean, I keep misreading it as Nipple of Hope Gala, but there we are. Talk, us, well. talk us through what happened there. Yes, so last night ended up being quite controversial. Meghan was totally gleeful when she arrived. She was dragging Harry along that red carpet behind her like an errant puppy for a walk. She was loving those cameras going off and those flashlights from the paparazzi. And to be fair to her, this time there was a lot of paparazzi there in this instance. And she was wearing a custom 
Louis Vuitton gown. They had arrived by private jet, so no worries about climate change. They turned up as though the president with um, in three SUVs um, was how they arrived. So it was, you know, all the big guns were out, shall we say, for the big arrival. But yes, yeah, she got this award. It was awarded to her by Kerry Kennedy. It has divided the Kennedy family. The rest of the family are bewildered as to why Kerry would, would issue the couple with this award, because it's an insult, really, to our British royal family. It's attacking our British royal family. They received this award for what they say was heroicism, for fighting against structural racism within the monarchy. This is something that Kerry's made up, and she wanted to honour them alongside the likes of President Zelensky, who's, who's been fighting off the Russians, which is a well-deserved award. But I just think it makes the whole thing look ridiculous, really. But anyway, there you are. So she decided to give them this award. As I say, it's caused a bit of division among the Kennedys. have always had a very close relationship with the British royal family going back decades, always enjoyed warmth and cordiality. And this has been spot now. And the rest of the Kennedys are, are, are bewildered, was the word used, as to why well, Kerry I'm, would do this. I'm not surprised. I mean, and again, especially when you've got President Zelensky leading a country that's facing an invasion and millions of people uh, facing, you know, being overrun by the Russians, and he gets an award, and, and they get an award for, for doing what? For, for being born into a family, for marrying well, and for whinging and moaning about their lot in life. I love the private jet there, but I also I thought it was really interesting. Let's have a girly moment here. This off-the-shoulder white dress. Um, this comes after, I mean, just days after in Boston, Kate, um, uh, the Duchess of, no, the Boston, Princess of Wales, she wore that off the shoulder green number. I don't normally care about what women are wearing, but let's face it, lots of us are noticing these things. I wonder if that was a sort of a, a deliberate, you know, a, she would have known what she was doing, you can certainly say. But there's no doubt at all that, uh, that there are real controversies here. Just finally, and very briefly, if you would, um, we've got a, a palace aide who's spoken to the Times, who's one of those who signed a non disclosure agreement, these NDAs, basically who worked for the Duchess of Sussex, accused her of bullying her uh, and basically went away. You get a payoff. You say, I'll never talk about it publicly. She, she or he, this is a member of staff, is calling on the palace to basically free people from their NDAs so they can talk freely, so they can hit back at these claims from Meghan. Do you think that's likely to happen? Well, I hope it does. I mean, Meghan's just lost another two members of staff, hasn't she? Just recently, she's, her and Harry are now going it alone with, with their company. And I think it should happen. I mean, what was ironic is last night, Julie, the, the controversy that came out as they were accepting this award, or should I say Meghan accepting it with Harry by her side, Meghan <laughs> detailed her hardships of, of dealing with suicidal thoughts while a member of the royal family, this was obviously the, the controversy at the time during the Oprah Winfrey interview when she came out that she was feeling suicidal, that the royal family never gave her any help and she felt there was no way out. And this, this, these were the controversial thoughts that led to your colleague Piers Morgan um, walking out from, from ITV. Um, so, yes, yeah, so she stood up on stage and she said, she said she was going to publicly say this again because she didn't want anyone to feel alone. And, and her and Harry want to keep telling their stories. It's important for them to tell their stories. So since they've announced that on stage, that it's important for people to share yeah. stories, and to talk about their stories of... But, of but, but not if you've ever worked for the Duchess. I love it. Thank you very much indeed, uh, Royal Commentator Sarah Robertson.